Hello, we are going to talk about the path dress up called Dogbone. I will tell you what is it useful for, how can you set it up to optimize the paths and I will tell you when it's not good to use it. For this episode I have created two bodies that fit one into the other. You can see the body, the second body just fits into this pocket of the first body. I have also already created the job and a pocket shape to mill this pocket. As you can see in my pocket shape I have already enabled the extensions so I won't have any problems at these two corners and there's nothing left over on these two edges but if I go to the cam simulator you will see that there is still a little problem that is in this corner it will be a round over with a radius equal to the cutter heads radius so this means that my body that actually interlock won't fit you can see here I should mill this body around it too of course I can do that but in some cases, when I'm building jigs or other things that are critical to have a certain shape, milling roundovers on the second piece is not possible, so I have to find a solution to cut this corner straight. If I'm milling wood, I can always use a chisel and straighten this corner, but I'm actually not that good at hand tools, so I prefer to use the dog bone dress up in FreeCut. What does this do? It slightly moves the cutter head into this corner, so it mills a little more than the round over left here, this means the second body will fit perfectly into the first one. Let me delete the cut material so you can see better the pocket operation that I've already created. It has skip tool down set to true, as you can see. This means that the tool bit won't be going up and down too many times. So how can I tell my CNC to go into this corner a little farther? I select the pocket shape operation, go to the path menu, path dress up and click on dog bone. You can see it doesn't open up in the tasks panel, it just adds up on top of the pocket shape. But as you can see, it's created dog bones in each and every corner of my operation, which I don't like. It's kind of useful, actually it's bad because if I open the cam simulator again you will see that it does a pretty messed up thing. Well, it's not really what I want, so I have to adjust the dress up. I double click it and it opens up and you can see a lot of green circles. Each green circle represents a dog bone operation. I actually just need one in this corner just on the last pass on the outer side of my pocket. By clicking on them on the list you can see them slightly highlighted in the view. And if I scroll down here is the dog bone that I need. So I'll uncheck every one of the others. Unfortunately here I can't just delete them, I can't select them and delete them. I just have to uncheck each of them one by one. My operation is pretty simple but when using a more complex operation it kind of becomes annoying. So now I still have a weird number here, I'm not sure why. I believe I have to go to the pocket shape and make the keep tool down, set it to false and now everything should be okay but i have to go back to the dog bone because you can see nothing is selected in this list so i have to scroll through them until i find the right one check it click ok again and now after removing the keep tool down you can see that the corner is milled just as little as possible to fit the second piece in here the gray material is actually extra to the pocket that i needed and if i make the second body visible you can see it fits but these two small holes will still be visible so it's if a situation where i need my faces to look perfect the dog bone is not a solution if i'm in a situation where i just want them to fit perfectly the dog bone is the perfect solution. It's much more reliable than correcting the corner by hand or making another placement for this body to mill it from the top and so on. Of course, this depends on each of the situations. Sometimes maybe this corner is on the bottom of a piece that you don't care that there are two small holes. As I said, it can be a jig or something that just needs to fit perfectly but you don't care so much about the looks. Okay, so in this menu that uh, opens up when I double click on the dog bone, you can see I have a few options. Of course, uh, the list of the corners where it should... Uh, just let me hide the body again so you can see better. The list of corners, when I click it, you can see 
each of them highlighting they can be either checked or unchecked but i cannot delete them and i think there should be a checkbox on top of the list with check all or uncheck all depending on the situation usually you just need one or two corners to be milled and you have to uncheck all the other corners this is a simple pocket but if the pocket had let's say 40 corners there would be a lot a lot of corners to uncheck of course i have style which is dog bone the one that i usually use it mills the smallest amount of material but there are some cases when t-bone horizontal for example is very useful it just goes in this direction and this edge will be flat as it should so if i have something covering this part and this part on top of the pocket is visible this might be a good solution there's t-bone vertical for which the same thing applies if i have this part visible and i don't want it milled extra but this one is not visible i can of course select the t-bone vertical t-bone long edge and t-bone short edge are exactly the same as horizontal or vertical they just refer to the two lines that meet in this corner short edge means it will be perpendicular to the short edge t-bone long edge means it will be perpendicular to the long edge as you can see so let's go back to simple dog bone okay so i you can see i have this option and if i select left nothing happens well that's because my pocket shape is a climb cut if i select conventional you can see that all my dog bones are recreated of course i have to uncheck all of them and if i select right this time nothing happens so depending on the type of operation if it's a climb cut or a conventional cut you'll have to select left or right on the side option in the dog bone the incision type can be adaptive fixed or custom which is a length that i define myself i can change the length of the line as much as i want this can be useful if my second piece has a slight just a slight round over on the corner so i don't need to mill all that extra material okay let me delete the cut material and let's make another test to see if everything is as it should be let's hit the play button and as you can see for each layer the cutter head moves slightly to this corner so it removes all the material up to the point where the two lines meet of course it will mill some extra material but that's not a problem if i have to do something primarily useful not decorative this is the dog bone dress up thank you for watching and i'll see you next time